At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Hey, what's going on, Rattlers? So rat snakes are amongst my favorite kind of snakes, and they're found all over the world. But here in the United States, we've got some really cool rat snakes. So let's go take a tour of the United States and see how many really cool rat snakes we can find. I'm Dave Kaufman, and I am obsessed with reptiles. And I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. So rat snakes are a really widespread type of snake. They're found all over the United States, down into Mexico, into South America. They're found in Europe and Southeast Asia. They're found all over the world. They are, again, one of the most widespread and common types of snakes there are. And here in the United States, they are literally found from one coast to the other coast. So if we start our rat snake tour in Texas, you're gonna find this guy. This is aptly named the Texas rat snake. And what makes these guys a little bit different than the other rat snakes is their color. So underneath their scales, they actually have red pigment on the skin that kind of bleeds through the scales. So that gives them this kind of like orange red color to them. And similar to other rat snakes, they carry this pattern from the time that their babies, hiya, they carry that pattern from the time that their babies into their adult coloration. They're born with this pattern and they carry it all the way up to adulthood like this guy is right now. And life out here in the wild in Texas, especially in suburban backyards like the one I'm in right now near Houston, you can see he's got a little bit of a soreness going on. I'm not sure what caused that, but it doesn't look like it's giving him too much trouble. But like all snakes, these are very beneficial in that they help to control the rodent populations. Without these, humans couldn't live on this planet because the rodent population would be so out of control. So when you see a snake like this out in the wild and you're not sure what kind it is, just leave it alone and be thankful that you saw such an amazing reptile out in the wild. But these rat snakes, like all other rat snakes, are very successful simply because of where they can live. They can live in forests like the one behind me. They can live in suburban backyards and they often do around agriculture. And these guys are perfectly adapted at earning their name rat snake by eating rats and mice. So again, this is the Texas rat snake and they're found throughout Eastern Texas and Louisiana. But if you go north to Illinois, you'll find the black rat snake. These guys have a nasty attitude and he just bit himself. But the black rat snake is the widest ranging rat snake in North America. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. They range from Kansas all the way across to the Atlantic, up to New England, and then over to Minnesota. And here in Illinois, this is the typical coloration of a black rat snake. They have a uniform black coloration on the back. But unlike other rat snakes, black rat snakes don't start out black as babies. They have the saddle pattern when they're first born, and then with each shed, that black gets darker and darker until you've got an adult snake with the uniform black coloration like you see this one has. And black rat snakes live in forests like here in southern Illinois and they also live in suburban backyards and agriculture areas where they hunt their primary diet which is rodents. But again, these are one of the most common rat snakes in North America, and the reason for that is just how extensive their range is. It covers almost the entire eastern half of the country. And this guy's really chilling out right now, but again, rat snakes like this one, they make a really good living earning up to their name rat snake. These are responsible for keeping the rodent population down to a level where other animals, including us, can live on this planet. These are incredibly beneficial snakes. So again, this is the black rat snake, but if you go south to Florida, you get red rat snakes. These are also called corn snakes, and they're one of the most popular pet snakes 
In captivity, with how many there are and how many breeders are working with them, we are really outdoing Mother Nature as far as how many eggs and babies we're producing in captivity. It is so much more than they're doing out here in the wild. But corn snakes get their name from their belly. The belly looks like Indian corn, and therefore, these are now known as corn snakes, not red rat snakes. So again, here in the south, in Florida, you get the red rat snake. And this guy is so beautiful. You know, with all the morphs that are produced in captivity, I don't think anything beats the normal wild type as far as beauty is concerned. But also in Florida, you've got rat snakes like this one. This is a yellow rat snake. And unlike corn snakes, this one has stripes, not blotches. And there's a reason why some snakes have stripes and some snakes have blotches. And the reason why this one has stripes is because if you're a striped snake and you move like this across the ground and you're being chased by a predator, the stripes actually create an optical illusion. So when you go like this, the stripes make it look like you're shooting off in this direction or shooting off in this direction and it confuses a predator that's chasing them. But if you have blotches like a corn snake, you can be dead stopped and those blotches create a camouflage effect where you completely disappear in plain sight. So that's the difference between having stripes and having blotches. Now there's been a lot of taxonomic work lately on rat snakes and now they've been all grouped together into either eastern rat snakes or western rat snakes depending on where they lie with the Mississippi River being the barrier. I couldn't more than disagree with that. The taxonomic lumpers, as they're called, are suggesting that this snake is a eastern rat snake, but it's the yellow color phase of that rat snake. Again, I disagree with that. These will always be yellow rat snakes to me. Corn snakes will always be red rat snakes to me. And just look at how yellow he is. He totally lives up to the name Yellow Rat Snake. But if you go to places like Kansas, here on the Great Plains, well, you'll find the aptly named Great Plains Rat Snake. Now, this is a medium-sized rat snake compared to the other rat snakes, and this used to be considered a subspecies of the Red Rat Snake, which is the corn snake that we saw in Florida. Now, this rat snake is perfectly adapted at life here on the prairie, and it competes out here with the black rat snake, but this guy is perfectly adapted to life on the prairie. They will eat birds and their eggs, especially ground nesting birds, but they are perfectly adapted at living up to their name and eating rodents out here. And these rocks behind me is where they primarily live, and so do a lot of rodents. They make their nests under these rocks. And so this rat snake, cruises the prairie, finds those big flat rocks, and goes under, finds a rat nest or a mouse nest, and has itself a meal. And not only that, but they find cover under these rocks as well. Unlike the other rat snakes that we've seen, this rat snake keeps this juvenile pattern all the way into adulthood. It doesn't change color with every shed like some of the other rat snakes. So these rat snakes get to be about 36 inches. That's about three feet or a meter. They don't get much bigger than that. So again, of all the rat snakes here in North America, this one is a medium-sized rat snake that preys on primarily rodents and keeps its juvenile pattern into adulthood.
So again, the Great Plains rat snake keeps its juvenile pattern into adulthood and is perfectly adapted to life here on the prairie. But if you go north to Minnesota, you'll find a different kind of rat snake. This is a fox snake. And they get their name fox snake because they have glands by the cloaca at the base of the tail there. And the person who described this snake kind of thought that that musk smelled like fox dens. I've handled hundreds of these snakes out in the wild and I've smelled that musk a lot. And I've never smelt it and thought, hey, that smells like a fox den. But apparently that's how it was described and that's how this snake got its name fox snake. But nonetheless, it's still a member of the rat snake family. And if I was going to name this snake, I would call it the northern rat snake because it's only found from Nebraska across to Michigan, all through Iowa and then up through Wisconsin and Minnesota. And that's the extent of its range. So I think a more apt name for this rat snake would be the northern rat snake, not the fox snake. But because this is my hometown rat snake, this is actually one of my favorites in the world and I love finding these. But it's advantageous to live in such a northerly climate because it doesn't have any other rat snakes in the northern part of its range that it needs to compete with. The black rat snake is the closest snake that the fox snake's range overlaps with. But here in the south central part of Minnesota, it's the only rat snake here, so it doesn't compete for food like other rat snakes in other part of the country have to. So again, the fox snake is the most northerly rat snake found in the United States. So anyway, rattlers, I hope you learned a little bit something about rat snakes. They are one of my favorite type of snakes. And I wanna hear from you guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite rat snake is. And also, I've recently launched Patreon. So that link is in the description below. Check it out. Please consider helping support this channel. And until the next adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on. <laughs>